What's good, everyone? This is a new list, a new configuration. Actually, it is the revised configuration from the last first company list that I put together. And a special thank you out to Enik Beer. I hope I said your name properly. I want to thank you personally for being the first person to subscribe to my page. Thank you and to my channel and for encouraging me to go ahead and do these videos. I've been watching a lot of you guys do these videos for a long time and it's something that I always wanted to do. And I feel like it's kind of our responsibility to share to the Wargaming experience. So one of the things that I've done here is I took your advice. I did go back and I made some revisions, but I made I actually made a lot of revisions to this list. And this list, I think, is going to really surprise my partner uh, when we get ready to do this campaign, too, because it, it's, it's different. But this is what I'm going to call my tactical espionage list. This is going to be the list that I'm going to do for the, I'm going to field for the very first uh, mission when we drop down on the surface of the planet um, to fight off the Tyranids. So I want to get on to this list. This list is really interesting. So what I have here is I have the Lord Adjudicator, the first captain, Austin Leonidas here. This is a first company tactical espionage list. So with him, supporting him is Squad Thorax. These are going to be his senior, um, his, his senior veterans here. Squad Thorax, two Thunder Hammers and three Lightning Claws in the list. They're going to be riding in a Storm Raven. The Storm Raven has the assault cannons, missiles on the front, hurricane bolters on the side, and the four blood strike missiles. Back here going along for the ride. And guys, you have to excuse me, these guys are not painted. Uh, I just collected like 60 scouts from my brother who no longer plays 40K. He plays fantasy now. He had a whole slew of scouts that he didn't want, and he just gave them all to me. So I'm going to be stripping the paint down and repainting them all, but... Just to illustrate this list, I wanted to show it to you. So it's going to be a Furioso Dreadnought Front Armor 13 with Blood Talons. He's going to be going along for the ride in the Storm Raven. And then, check it out. I have a Scout Squad, the first Scout Squad. Now, I'm going to have three troops this time. I took the Death Company out. I took the Crusader out because I want to do a tactical espionage list. So what I have here is... I have four scouts in this squad with bolters. Who says scouts aren't as good as marines and cheaper? Ten scouts in this squad, four bolters. Then I have five sniper rifles and a sergeant with a close combat weapon and a bolt pistol. But then again, back here in the back, I have another scout squad, eight sniper rifles in this squad, heavy bolter, Sergeant with Power Weapon Plasma Pistol. And then over here, I have another Scout Squad. Scout Sergeant Plasma Pistol Power Weapon. Eight Sniper Rifles and a Missile Launcher. Supported by, yes, a squad of Devastators with Missile Launchers. And a Tactical Terminator Squad back here. Um, with Assault Cannon, Storm Bolters. Sergeant has a Power Weapon. Now, here's the big kicker. I... I went up and I, I've been playing this game since 97. And the very first army that I played was Dark Eldar. Um, at, during that time, Dark Eldar, for those of you who was around, they came in like the starter kit with Space Marines. But when I started playing Chaos, I had a whole bunch of, this is back in 99, I started having, I had a whole bunch of Berserker models. I stripped, I took about five of them and I just stripped them apart because I didn't, um, I, I really just didn't want to drive where I live an hour out of the way to go and buy um, some models for to make a Vanguard Veteran Squad. So I just stripped some of my Berserkers apart, and I made these conversions. Now, I went online, and I got these pre-heresy jump packs for veterans. I, veterans would still be sporting the old gear. Um, so especially for Flesh Terror since they've been in the chapter for so long. So these veterans here, power weapons, I got them um, running. So we got three power weapons and a sergeant with the power fist. 
uh, with the jump packs. They're going to do my he he um, heroic intervention. So, guys, here we go. This is the list right here. Um, I think that this is going to be interesting. All three scout squads are going to be infiltrating near the objectives, just like the strategy I showed you guys before in the video. They're going to be close enough to support each other and to support the assaulting unit. 21 sniper rifles in this list, guys. 21 sniper rifles, two assault cannons, five missile launchers, lightning claws, thunder hammers, power weapons, everything deep striking with the exception of uh, the Devastator Squad and the snipers. Um, the snipers, the... The scouts are going to be infiltrating. They're all going to have locator beacons so my Terminators can come down and support them. The Storm Raven will be able to come down and land the fire. The guys can jump out and make the charge, get back in the Storm Raven and keep rolling. Same thing with my with my scouts with the locator beacon. I can bring down my, my um, Vanguard guys right in front of them within six inches, make the assault charge, and, and just keep moving. I think that this is a really exciting list. So uh, I'd like to know what you guys think. And please, by all means, test it out. Subscribe uh, if you like it. Um, let me know that you like it. Give me your thoughts. I think it's, I think it's, it's definitely interesting, and, I'm, and it's going to definitely surprise my partner. Now, I haven't play tested this list yet, um, so I don't know what it's going to feel like and how it's going to play. Um, just from looking at it, it's definitely not fluffy. But... With 21 sniper rifles and missile launchers, I have a range of 48 inches from the first turn. So I think that this list is going to really, really surprise him, and it can definitely put down 21 sniper rifle fire and five missile launchers per turn. So it's going to definitely have a lot of punch, and it's going to provide enough cover fire for the three assaulting squads that I have here. With the Storm Raven fire lended to it, I think I think it's going to be okay. So, anyway, let me know your thoughts. I hope you guys like it. Uh, I'm going to get on now. We have I have a lot of painting to do, a lot of converting to do to get ready for this campaign that we're going to be kicking off after the holidays. Um my father's going to be posting his first Imperial Guard um video next week. Uh so look it up. We're going to have it posted up here. So, yeah, so we're done. Campaign Gamers Club, I'll hit you back. Holla. Peace.